Yeah. 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 You know, the, the, so the, the, tell us what happened. So we were detained. We were detained for simply walking down the street, um, and then they, the police officers, detained us to start to talk to the peace officers. Um, we explained what we were doing, and it didn't matter. And then he did put his hands on us. Um, yes. Physically. Yes, he physically detained me. He assaulted you. Yes. That's what it is. And I actually have, have it on video, and so do it as another girl. Take a hike. So. So, lady is crying. Yeah, she's upset because she was by herself, and she's. We we met her in the parking lot and walked over with her, and she's and she was, she was yeah very upset about this and all of this. So. And them just saying they're doing their job is not an acceptable answer. We're just do fighting for the people. Well, friends, uh, in 1930s, they were SS, and they had swastika on them, and they were just saying the same things. We're just following orders. I grew up on the communist dictatorship and the communists killing, murdering people, beating them up, arresting. People were saying, oh, we're just following orders. We're following orders, that's all. We're not the bad people. We're just following orders. That's right, folks. Stand up for your freedom because when it's gone, and it's gone. And seven police. Come on. Yeah, yeah, no, this is no seven police. Against... Yeah, round her. One girl and the seven police around. And I, when I just went there, I said, the ceremony, they take my picture. That's right, folks. Get your asses over here. You belong here. So, so freedom. The, you know, the really pretty lady that always rides so around. I don't know if this is friends absolutely unacceptable intimidation harassment by the authorities that swore to protect, protect, to serve and protect. Seven officers surrounded this lady, overwhelmed her. She started to cry because normal people, they're not doing anything evil or wrong. They're just overwhelmed by by the approach of the authorities and they break and she started to cry. So anyway, the villains, the villains right now are hiding. They're hiding here. I'll show you where the devils are hiding. The villains are right here. Look at the villains. See? The villains. That's where the villains are. That's where the wicked are hiding. Evil, evil, evil. Let me just uh, try to get you a better better view of the villains just like the gangsters oh look running away from the camera oh they hate to be exposed wicked evil people working for a dictator Nenshi friends we have to clean this place we have to clean this place the peace officers and the bylaw officers are acting like a brown shirts of Adolf Hitler this time Nehat Ninchi. They're acting like the brown shirts of Adolf Hitler. I mean, it's unbelievable. It's sickening. And they are, they're breaking law. And then they will harass a few people outside and they run inside the city hall like gangsters that they are. It's sickening. Absolutely sickening. Sickening. Wow. So there are uh, different uh, things. Wow. Exceptions include children under two years of age or persons with an underlying medical condition or disability 
which inhabits their ability to wear a face covering. Devils, you should read your own laws. See, the moment they see the camera, they turn, they turn, they can't stand it. Oh, they run away, they run, run away. away. This is ridiculous. I mean, we got to stop this nonsense. Canadians, you got to vote for people that actually will love you, that will love this nation, the Charter of Rights and Freedoms, which is holy. Holy, it's not perfect, but it should be holy. And what we have today is a mockery of justice. They make laws that are unconstitutional and they don't even keep them. What does that say about the people that are in these buildings right now? You know, if you vote for us, if you will vote for me as a councillor, I'm going to be fighting that every ticket will be removed. It's nonsense. And the masks are gone. But step farther. We want to fight to hold every person accountable in the hospitals for negligence. How many people, because, because of lack of surgeries, have died? You know, who's the real murderer right now? This is serious stuff. Martial law, martial uh, court. This rings a bell, martial court. And I think this is the direction we should be pushing to hold these devils accountable. So vote for, for Canadians that love this nation. Okay, our forefathers were fighting the Nazis and then the Soviets. So what? So we can just lose our rights today because some Muslim mayor says it so? Nenshi, who do you think you are to persecute Christmas? Who do you think you are to tell Canadians that Judeo-Christian values are not the good values, the right values? Who gave you that right? Who do you think you are to say no Christmas? You can shove it where the sun doesn't shine. I even saw some officers without the mask. See if I can get that. Went into hiding. Look at that, those little devils hiding behind the pillars. Look at this. I mean, rightfully so, they should be ashamed of themselves. If I was them, I probably would be hiding behind the pillar as well. I mean, I would be so ashamed of myself that I'm uh, repeating the history of the Nazis and the communists. I wouldn't want to face the public. A cameraman myself but you see I'm a different person I don't hurt people I may have a different opinion than you but I do not hurt people I feed everyone including homosexuals it doesn't matter what color is your skin it doesn't matter where you came from you will receive the meal at our church you will receive the message of hope I'm not ashamed of what I'm doing but those people obviously hiding behind the pillars they're ashamed of themselves because they are repeating the history, they're acting like the Nazis. Stopping peaceful assembly? Religious gathering? Shutting down Christmas, you little devils? And you think we'll put up with this? Ha! Huh. Well, Art, the same way they're gathering uh, evidence against us, against people that love this nation, and uh, are not fooled by their schemes and the pandemic, they're gathering all this evidence, patriots, people, people who stand on guard for this nation it's time to gather evidence against them get the names record everything gather the the evidence in hospitals gather the evidence in clinics in uh, city halls wherever you are the police officers the 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 gestapo of today unfortunately and the ss commando which is the bylaw bylaw officers gather the evidence gather the names make sure you get the name of the person that is breaking the Charter of Rights and Freedoms. And let's uh, gather this evidence for the future, yes. I'd like to ask everybody who got a ticket today or before to come up on, on the stage, please. Just come up on the stairs. Everybody who's got a ticket, just come here and stand. Just watch up. Come on up. Just don't stand on the floor. <laughs> and 
I'd like to get some photographs for those. These are the people getting tickets. It's a subtle form of intimidation. And let's do a big boo for the tickets. Boo! But on the other side, we want to salute the police. They're in a tough place. Let's give them a cheer. Okay, even though they're taking pictures out of those windows and blah, 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 blah. And then they threaten to arrest you for... So pathetic! Freedom Unity Alliance is a ministry. It's a ministry of education for education and light and spiritual. It's not associated with any religious group, but it is a rights ministry. So we will be fighting them under human rights as well for harassing the congregation. Yes. Freedom is our faith. That's exactly right. So please take the pictures. We're going to... Come on in more, everybody. Come on. Not that I'm worried. Toilet paper. You guys should be very proud of those. Joy toilet paper. Let's give a big hand for the ticket holders. Come on, big hand. Absolutely. They're the ones representing you right now. Pathetic. They're re representing the freedoms. They're the ones right Hiding. here taking, a, taking the bullet. Hiding like so cowards. They can keep giving tickets. Hiding like cowards over there. Intimidated dead. by tickets. That's wow. What, we know. what a brave officers to serve and to protect. And yet at the same time, there are drug dealers right there. Drug dealers are left alone. Patriots are harassed. Oh, look at that cross! You made it to the courthouse. Good to see you. Good to see you. I follow you on Facebook. Yeah, you made it here. Wow, that's so pathetic, unbelievable. Friends, uh, strictly uh, tactics of intimidation, that's all. Intimidating people, scaring people. And uh, they're gathering evidence against the patriots that are lovers of people. I mean, and freedoms. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Well, uh, 21st century Canada, the land of free, brave and free. Well, those, uh, those are the free and those are the brave. Those guys here are the cowards. And Gestapo and SS, that's what they are. That's what they are. All right. Now, I'm going to get into a couple things, and we're going to do a short intro, and then we're going to do a walk. Tammy's going to talk as well. So I want to get into a few things here. We know 100% that the virus, any virus deemed a virus, must be scientifically isolated in a laboratory and adhere to uh, the cough populace. Now, a protocol that features, this is a protocol that features stringent list of requirements.